My name is Per Erik Melander. I'm a catchment scientist and the chief scientist of the Agriculture Catchments Program. And within the program, we're monitoring uh, soils, groundwater, uh, surface water, and weather. So we're standing here at the outlet of the catchment, and this is where we're monitoring the river at a very high temporal resolution. We have an outdoor lab, uh, a bankside analyzer, that takes a sample from the stream and analyzes this for phosphorus and nitrate. It does this on a sub-hourly basis, five to six times per hour. By now, we have um, almost a decade of uh, sub-hourly uh, measurements in all the catchments in the outlets. And this high-resolution monitoring of water quality allows us to understand processes of how nutrients may be lost in the landscape through the water, how, when and where, what transfer pathways nutrients have moved in. This is very important if you want to design methods of how to improve water quality. Now, the uniqueness in this instrumentation is that we get concentrations of phosphorus and nitrate at the sub-hourly level and we don't miss anything and we can see how the concentration changes from a base, level base flow condition to storm events. There are also time lags in the system, so what we're monitoring now might be the effect of agriculture some years ago, depending on, on, on the time lags in the catchment. And this could be from two to 10 years or two to 20 years. So the program generates a lot of data, both biophysical and socioeconomical data. And this is analyzed by my colleagues in Johnson Castle.